Hello and welcome back to Rev Real Estate School. I'm your host, Michael Montgomery. And today what we're talking about is all about chat GPT for real estate agents. Now we've all probably heard about chat GPT. We've probably played around with it and had it produce some poems for us or ask it some interesting questions and then be blown away and show all of our friends. But one of the challenges that I found with it is how do we actually implement it? What can we actually do with this that's going to move the needle on our real estate business? Now this is a tough question because it's a new tool. So there's not a ton of resources out there on how to go about using it. So that's what we're going to discuss today, a few specific things that you can do as a real estate agent when using ChatGPT. Now, first off, one really interesting thing when it comes to ChatGPT is understanding how we're using it. And the power of the tool is yes, the output, but it's also the input. So what do I mean by this? I mean that traditionally what we're used to when we're using Google we're used to putting in a question. What are some ideas when it comes to geo farming? That's a pretty standard question that we put into Google. ChatGPT is different though. We should be thinking of ChatGPT in terms of commands or prompts. Now compare that to Google and now you're putting in questions. So questions of how do I go about starting to geo farm versus a command, which would be what are the steps that I need to take in order to be a high producing geo farming agent. So those would be two different structures. One's a question and one's a command. So when we're thinking about chat GPT and you're going to notice this in the examples that we're going to go through is we should be thinking about using this tool by way of commands, not solely by way of questions, although it can work for that as well. So let's kick things off and we'll start with the obvious one, which is listing descriptions. Now there are tools that have been used historically for listing descriptions. You'd be able to plug in some information about the property and it would spit out a listing description. However, most of the time those descriptions were rough at best, like they were pretty weak. But with ChatGPT, what I've really noticed is the quality of these listing descriptions is actually really impressive. But the quality of the description is dependent on what we put into it. So. What we have to do is we have to think again in terms of commands. Write a listing description for a three bed, two bath home in X community. Yes, it can do that, but the output's probably not gonna be that great because you haven't given it enough. But write a listing description for a three bed, two bath, 1500 square foot home in X community. One of the great things about this home is it backs onto a park. It's also really close to shopping. They have a recently renovated kitchen and bathroom. Basement is fully developed and there's a double car garage in the back. Okay, so now that we've put that in, it's going to actually produce a pretty impressive listing description. So just be very clear about the inputs when we are doing listing descriptions. And on top of that, you don't necessarily have to use that listing description word for word, but it will generate some pretty good ideas for you to then take that and kind of manipulate it into your own voice. Now let's take that one step further. What you can do is you can actually use that listing description or any listing description for that matter, put it into chat GPT and ask it to make a social post for you. Now this is really cool because what it's going to do is it will create the caption for your post and then it's going to use relevant hashtags. It's going to insert different emoticons to actually create some energy and some life into the post. So if you are the type of person like me who sits there and struggles with what sort of caption I'm gonna write for this post, you can just drop the listing description in and the actual caption comes out and it's quite good. And it also has all of the relevant hashtags ready to go. So it becomes more of a concept of copy and paste at that point in time. Next, we have improve your emails and texts. So the tool is actually extremely strong when it comes to you wanting to convey a certain message and you're not sure if it's doing that. So you can input an email in to ChatGPT and you can simply say, make this more succinct, make this more casual, make this more professional, however you would like that to come across and it will do so. So this I find to be really powerful. Same thing with text, especially if you're in the midst of a negotiation or you need to ensure that your communication is perfectly on point, you can double check it by putting that exact text into ChatGPT and asking it to make it more X, however you want to come across. But here's where things get even more interesting. You can ask ChatGPT to create you a whole drip campaign for a year, two years. You can say, send two emails a month. I want a drip campaign for that. And it will actually create that for you. 
Now, what I found is actually in looking at it, it's not that bad. You may even be able to use a lot of these emails directly. However, you will want to go in, maybe change a few words and change the tone ever so slightly. But the other component here is you don't necessarily have to do the heavy lifting. So what I mean by this is if you end up getting the output, an email or a drip campaign, and it's not right for you, you just have to tell the tool like a chatbot, let the tool know, I want this to be more casual, try again. And it's going to try it all over again. Again, I want it to be more funny. I want it to be more personable and it will do so. So it's a really powerful tool. I think a lot of times what we do is we end up putting something in that we just say, ah, it didn't work, but work with the tool, work with the tool and ask it to try again by giving it more prompts. And that is where the power really starts to come alive. Now, along the same lines of emails and texts, ChatGPT can also create full phone scripts for you. So if you need a script for how to ask for a price reduction, for how to ask a seller if they're ready to list, to how to ask a buyer if they are interested in writing an offer, all of these sort of things can all be handled by way of ChatGPT. But all we need to do is input what it is that we're looking to do. So for example, you may use a prompt such as write me a phone script for calling a cold lead who I haven't followed up with in a year and a half to see if they're still interested in buying and it will do so or write a phone script for a real estate agent who's calling a seller and asking for a price reduction. It does a very, very good job of this. The other really cool thing is it understands the importance of certain topics. So if I was to tell the system, you know, make this funny, it's probably going to come back and it's going to say, sorry, the concept of a price reduction is not something that really warrants humor. And so we should try to be more professional. It will still end up giving me something that's maybe a little bit more casual, but it also understands the gravity of certain topics that we're discussing in real estate. Really powerful stuff. Next, we have idea generation. Idea generation is just fantastic when it comes to this tool. So we can ask the tool for different types of content to post, different lead magnets for buyers, for sellers. We can ask it for, again, captions for certain posts if we would like. We can ask it for best performing blog content for real estate agents. So the power of idea generation, it definitely can't be understated, but it's really just limited by how much we wanna use the tool. So what I suggest when it comes to this is leaving a chat GPT tab open on your computer. And when you are working through something, something that requires some new ideas is throw that into chat GPT. Now, again, coming back to our previous topic, if you don't like the output, ask it to recreate, say, give me 10 more or change it in this way and give me 10 more and it will do so. So again, using that tool in a proper fashion and using it to generate ideas for us. Very powerful. So this then leads us into our next one, which is actually probably my least favorite, and it's having ChatGPT create blog content or any type of content for you from scratch. Now, the reason I don't love this is because it's really taking away your perspective. So if you are writing a blog post on the market and what's happening in your city, your perspective is what's important. The numbers, yes, they do carry some weight, but what's more important to somebody who's watching your video or reading your blog is how does this actually impact them? This whole concept of whiff them, what's in it for me? So you just saying this is what's happening in the market is one thing, but you saying that this is how it may apply to you if you're a buyer or you're a seller is another. Now, on top of that, I've also heard that search engines may penalize people for basically taking copy and pasted AI generated content and putting it on their website. So instead of thinking of ChatGPT as a blog writing tool, although it can definitely do that, it's probably more worthwhile to start using it as a blog idea generation tool. So similar to the previous concept, can we get ChatGPT to actually create blog ideas for us? Can we ask for 20 blog ideas and can we get ChatGPT to create outlines for each of those blogs and ideas for each of those blogs? Absolutely. So I wouldn't necessarily go towards ChatGPT to actually write all of our content for us. Instead, use it for outlines and for idea generation around that content. Which then leads us to this next concept around content and it's keyword research. So we can ask ChatGPT to create the best keywords for us that have the lowest competition and the highest search volume and it will do so. And so if you are used to creating videos or blog content, you know the power of keyword research. You know the importance of it. However, there is an issue. It's a lot of the keyword research tools are actually quite expensive. They're $100 plus per month. However, we can get ChatGPT to just produce the keywords that we should be using in our content. 
And it's very, very powerful and it works very well. But again, we need to be thinking in terms of commands. If we're just asking for keywords, it will do so. But if we're asking for keywords with high search volume and low competition in our area, well, now it's gonna produce something that's a lot more valuable for us. Next, we move on to copywriting. So this concept has been widely discussed around ChatGPT and it's how it can actually do copywriting for us. So it can create taglines, it can create website copy for us, it can create sales copy for us. If we want our page to convert at a higher level, we can put our copy in to ChatGPT and say, can you optimize this for conversion? So I've tried doing this and actually it works really well because copywriting, it's really an art. There's a science component, but it's also an art. Like, how do we actually use words to convey a certain message and get our audience to do something on our website or on our social media? Well, we can get ChatGPT to do this. So it can write a whole ad for you. It can write the ad headline. And actually, I did get ChatGPT to do this for one of my posts. I asked it to create a headline for me. So I created 10 headlines based on the content. And then I asked it, which one of these headlines do you think would be best? And it said, well, I think these ones would probably be best. And I said, well, which one of these is going to have the highest click-through rate? And it said these ones. And then I said, based on the content and based on the highest click-through rate, which one would you choose? And it said, based on everything you've said, I would select this one. And it sent me the exact headline that would have the highest click-through rate and also be the most applicable to my content. So very, very easy. And typically when it comes to writing headlines, it can take a really long time. So it's really freeing up our time here. Now, another thing that you can use it for is creating newsletter content. So I did say, hey, we may not wanna use this tool in order to create a blog, but you could have it create a paragraph or two about what's going on in your given market that can then be put into your email newsletter and sent out to your clients. You can also use it to, again, generate ideas for what to put in your email newsletter. And it can also start to pull together other things. So maybe it's real estate related, maybe it's event related, maybe it's something coming up, what is going on in your community? You can ask ChatGPT that and it's going to tell you. And sometimes it can be as simple as grabbing it and putting it right into your email. Other times it can be reworking the language slightly or asking ChatGPT to do that for you. Next we have customer service. And so it actually works very well and very similar to emails, text, and scripting. You can basically put in the situation that you're dealing with. Maybe you're dealing with a tricky negotiation. Maybe you're dealing with a tricky client. You can put that in and say, how would you respond to X scenario? And it will do so. And it will actually create a back and forth, which I like as well. And so what I mean by this is you might say, hey, I'm having trouble getting a buyer to come up on price or the buyer's agent to come up on price if I'm representing the seller. And then so it's going to say, okay, so you say this, buyer's agent says this, you say this, buyer's agent says this, it actually has a back and forth involved. And so this, again, is coming back to scripting and maybe email and text templates, but it's also really working well when it comes to customer service. So if somebody is having an issue, how do we go about actually sending them a note, sending them an email or calling them in a way that conveys empathy and care, especially in a tricky situation? ChatGPT can do this for us. Which then leads us to our final one, which is video and TikTok content. And so when it comes to actually creating this content, sometimes it can be hard to come up with the idea, which it can produce ideas, we've already discussed that, and it can also create scripts. So if you're struggling when it comes to actually creating the script for your TikTok or your reel or your video, it will actually create the whole script for you. It will even create the setting for you. So I asked ChatGPT to create a funny TikTok about a home inspection and it set a whole scene and had this back and forth and it was actually quite funny on how we would end up actually shooting, recording and the scripting involved with that. So very, very simple ability for us to take a lot of hours off our plate. So ChatGPT isn't really this tool that we need to use for everything, but it can really reduce the amount of time that we spend on certain things and it can proof certain things too. It can ensure our messaging is done correctly and it can actually just enhance our business on many different levels. Thank you for watching or listening to this. Remember, you can reach out anytime at revrealestateschool.com or on Instagram at the.michael.montgomery. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next lesson.